Part 2. Verdant Wind. Blue Sea Moon. The City Without Light. Immediately following Edelgard's defeat, the Alliance Army discovers the existence of another adversary, a group operating behind the scenes within the Empire. Claude suspects that if the true enemy is left unchecked, disaster will befall Fodman, and so he cuts short the celebration and the troops head for Shambhala, where this foe resides. I just don't get it. What is it, Claude? Those javelins of light. They were trying to use it to kill us at Fort Mercy's, right? But then why not drop it on Garrig Mach? They must have known for a while that we were here. Very good question. It is not that they chose to refrain, but rather that they were unable to do so. Rhea, how are you feeling? I am well enough. I cannot afford to rest while Fodlin is in danger. What do you mean when you say they couldn't drop a javelin of light here? Once, a very long time ago, a massive ball of light fell upon this monster. However, that light mysteriously changed course in mid-air and landed in ALL instead. ALL, the Valley of Torment. So that's what the wreckage of those javelins of light looks like. The Holy Tomb is not only the location of the Progenitor God's eternal slumber, but also a sacred vessel for a power that repels evil. Supposedly, the Progenitor God built the Holy Tomb herself to protect her children from the evil light. Hmm. So the children of the Goddess gathered in Xanadu because of its proximity to the monastery? But we've fought at distant locations many times. Despite that, the Javelins of Light only fell on Fort Mercius. In his letter, Hubert said that he detected their magic when the fort fell. In other words, because they used a Javelin of Light, Hubert was able to pinpoint the location of their base. So they didn't use it before then because they didn't want us to know where their base is? In any case, those Javelins of Light must be something they can't just use whenever they want. And they finally decided to use one at Mercius, where they were sure they'd be able to finish us off. It's only thanks to the whims of the Death Knight that we escaped with our lives. And no Javelins of Light have fallen since then. It's possible that the enemy hasn't yet realized that we've learned the location of their base. If so, their guard may be down, which makes this the perfect time for a surprise attack. All right, this I all makes sense. Hmm, not sure that makes sense. What? No, that would be far too dangerous. Your long confinement weakened you greatly, did it not? Those people have opposed us since ancient times. I wish to learn the truth about them for myself. I... I understand. I will not stop you, but please take care not to overexert yourself. I kind of remember if she said something like that back in Silver Snow. I don't feel like she did, but it's... It's kind of been a while, so I'm not sure. We don't know exactly what we're up against here, but having you around is very reassuring, Rhea. Let's prepare to strike at Shambhala before they make their next move. All right. Well, I'm hoping this is going to lead to some answers about uh, things I still haven't seen yet, technically. Uh... Boring. Well, I guess I'll hit up the training grounds. Ultimate Sword Tournament. Still. Huh. Oh! Could give it one last shot. Got nothing better to do. Let's go, Ignatz. Okay. Double the first opponent. That's good. 
actually a pretty decent evasion. I think it didn't pay off. Still alive. All right. Hmm. We gotta heal. That's not ideal. I still have an advantage. No mercy. All right. Um, well, again. Come on, Ignatz, give me a lucky dodge, please. Wow, okay. Took care of it. Um, oh, I'll still get through this one, even if I take the hit. Just gonna kinda suck. Oh, just I wasn't about to let you go. Double proc on lethality. All right. Um, here it's all coming down to whether or not Ignatz can get this dodge. And at 58, uh, I'm sorry, zero. Oh, perfect. I took care of it. Thanks, Ignatz. Hey, that also meant we got to see what lethality looks like. Uh, it's just too bad that... Uh, it doesn't have any fun animation. Remember the GBA version of lethality? I think they call it Silencer, but whatever. These are Monica's people, aren't they? The ones who killed Captain Geralt. Then this is my real opportunity for revenge. There's no way I can back down from this one. Don't worry. Won't have to. No, I'm okay. Actually, I'm eager to get out there and fight. This is what I've been training for. Alright. Gotta respect that, Leone. folks we're fighting next aren't normal humans, are they? It's that group who caused the Javelin of Light to fall, right? It just doesn't seem like something a human is capable of. I'm not prone to flinching, but I don't feel great about any of this. You know what? That's fair. Also, I'm kind of surprised Judith is still around. Like, I'm glad for it. It's just, you know, Rodrigue didn't last this long. A mysterious organization, slithering in the dark of Bodlin, like something out of a midnight tale. It appears these fiends have infiltrated the deepest corners of the Empire. After the fall of Enbar, they've remained well concealed. That said, I would keep an eye on Edelgard's uncle, Lord Arundel. Something about him sits ill with me. Huh, weird that you would single him out, of all people. What do you know, Hanneman? Alright, Hilda, what are you up to? Shambhala, it was called, right? Scary that it's so close to the House Goneril territories. Who'd have thought all those creeps were living right under my nose? I was hoping my big brother would help us in this next battle. But he says that I can represent House Goneril without his help. That I have it in me. I'm glad he recognizes that I have some ability. Still, I wish he wasn't leaving it all to me. Oh, sorry. You gotta do some work, Hilda. It's okay, because... Hilda, you can really do some work. Wow. Those who slither in the dark. It seems we'll finally discover their true form. I get the sense that they're in league with the mages who experimented on me as a child. I wouldn't be surprised if Edelgard was subjected to them too. 
There's no telling what their true motives are. But whatever their motives, what they have done is unforgivable. They must be exterminated. You know, she mentioned Edelgard there. Uh, we didn't see it in this route. You only see it in the Blue Lions route. But she did have that, like, super form? Hegemon Edelgard? That was, uh... That was almost surely results of uh, whatever weird experimentation they were doing. I am so glad that Rhea is unharmed. My brother continues to worry about her, however. Of course, I am worried myself. I cannot imagine being in that situation while in such a state. She should just leave things to you and Claude and get the rest she needs. She should, probably. <laughs> But I guess when you're the Archbishop, you can't take that kind of thing lying down. Wow. We rescued Lady Rhea. I can hardly express my joy. But now we know about a new foe who intends to bring her harm. In time, we'll realize the peaceful world that Lady Rhea has always hoped for. I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm fighting. All right. Um... Ah, big knots over here. What do you have to Professor. say? Here's a thought. Our next opponent is an ally of Solon. Do you remember what Solon called us? Um, uh, insects? No. He called us beasts. Oh. Meanwhile, he refers to himself as the savior. Who exactly is he saving? I. I completely forgot about that, being honest. It's over here. I don't need it, but what's over here? Oh, Feather. Great. Professor. I've maxed out everyone's supports. Alright, who's up here now? Oh, Lady Ray is back! Lady Ray is back! I'm so happy! But things aren't gonna be like they used to be anytime soon, are they? There's still folks out there that want us all dead, and Lady Rhea still hasn't regained her strength yet. Speaking of which, Professor, please don't ask too much of her right now, okay? We'll be fine. Rhea is sleeping right now. If it is not absolutely urgent, please do not disturb her rest. No, the that's fair. confinement took its toll on her health. Truthfully, she is in no shape to be exerting herself at all, to say nothing of a military expedition. To make matters worse, we are now facing a very old enemy. One that has conspired against us since time out of mind. Please proceed with caution. I have a bad feeling. It does sound pretty risky. Put it like that. Hey, Manuela. Professor! Professor, I just got word from the opera company. I don't know if everyone survived, but it looks like they should be able to mount a revival. They even asked if I'd consider making a return to the stage someday. Do it. I suspect I may refuse, though. Oh. We're at the dawn of something new. No reason to look backwards, eh? So she got word from the opera company, but they didn't tell her whether everyone survived or not? Oh. Kind of mean. They asked her to make a return? I say, you know, just do like a short tour, get every get everyone back on their feet. Get, you know, get people in the seats. I thought but, the war would end with Edelgard's oh. defeat, but that wasn't the case. This may be premature, but I'm feeling a little relieved. I have to consider what I'll do with myself and where I'll go when this war is finally over. I don't have an answer yet. Let's make sure the next battle puts an end to this war. That way, we can all move forward. Alright, well that sounds good. Uh, shouldn't need anything from this place. Professor. Hey, gatekeeper. Oh. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. I can hardly believe you managed to handle the capital city like that. Everyone did sterling work. 
Yeah, we did. I really thought we'd know peace after that battle. But we're not quite there yet, huh? That's uh, never so easy. What the? Oh, odd surrounded by all kinds of figures. We crushed the Empire at long last. But there's no time to bask in our victory. We must prepare for the coming battle. We knew there was a secret group behind the Imperial Army all this time. True, we now did. Now we have a chance to make the first move against them. We have Hubert to thank for that. It's also thanks to him that we were able to rescue Rhea. I still have plenty of questions I'd like to ask her. Yeah, but we should let her rest for now. Sadly, I agree. After we return from the next battle, we'll ask her all of our burning questions. Rhea is the only one who gets a break, though. Everyone else had better start preparing for battle. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Right, I'm curious. What do you have to say, Anonymous Swordmaster? We won against the Imperial Army. I still can't believe it. But I guess we still have some enemies left. I'm not well informed, but I have plenty of fighting spirit. Good for you. How about... Ah, Lawrence is doing stuff too. A mysterious power threatening the very future of Bodlin? Certainly we cannot give it leeway. In comparison to this, the internal power struggles in the Alliance are utterly trivial. Now, do you think we can defeat it, Lawrence? I know we can, but do you think? There is no option but victory. The alternative is unthinkable. Perhaps I will have the opportunity to strike the decisive blow on the enemy commander. Oh, that would secure my place in history for certain. Oh, you're not going to get that opportunity, Lawrence. But uh, it's good to have dreams. You know, just keep it on. You done it. You did it. You crushed the Empire and rescued Lady Rhea. I'm sure the captain is proud of you right now. As am I, of course. I'm as proud as if I'd done it myself. Oh, well, we still have opponents left to fight. Sorry, I didn't mean to overdo oh. it. We still have to deal with Monica's group. Those who killed the captain. We'll knock them down so hard that they can't get back up. Yeah, we will. Alright, uh... Any last minute stat boosters or something? A vulnerary? Okay, thanks. E. Or T. Or T. Right, well, I guess we can pop in at the Holy Tomb. Won't hurt anything. Eight. Goddess ring is not nothing. Oh well. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do with that Master Seal I just picked up. We got one idea, and it doesn't really affect anything. We'll see. Hey, Shamir. saved Rhea, and the Empire has crumbled. The kingdom may as well be finished, too. The reasons for me to remain in Fodlan are fading. Oh, is it time to bid farewell? That's a little hasty. I've come this far. May as well see it through to the end. Appreciate it. Even if I did technically pick the wrong choice. Uh, of course, Raphael's in the dining hall. Why did I think you'd be anywhere else? Wake up, eat, train, eat, train, eat, sleep. We gotta prepare for the assault. But that hasn't changed my routine. Uh, you're doing plenty, Raphael. That training and eating, I do it for the sake of Bodlin. Gotta stay strong and fed to keep it safe. 
Oh, that's why you're the best, Raphael. Speaking of eating, I should probably do something uh, with this. There's basically no way I can get another treasure fruit, I think. Um, yeah, there's no way that's happening. I will go for... The strength and HP boost. My cooking is so good, it's... Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Can we nice. skip this? I do... Alright, fine, whatever. Uh, what else is there even to talk about? I feel like I've missed someone or something. I guess I did cover everyone. Alright. Uh, well, great. So that'll do it. 